All right, welcome back to your Carolina. That we caught our breath after doing yeah. a, little, a little workout. Let's talk food, okay? Yes. Many children, and y'all, some adults, are picky eaters, yep. and that doesn't mean that they have an eating disorder. So, Dr. Martha Durham is here to kind of talk about it. Yeah. I mean, look, what does it mean? Like, you know, we all have, you know, kids. It's like, oh, my kid won't eat. I was telling her, I was like, as long as you have apples and Nutella, Sophie, we eat. Right. Sometimes. He's like, I don't want any of that that you right. have cooked all healthy for me. Is it only sometimes? Is she only well, eating apples and Nutella? No. Right. No, no. Come on now. She'll have little bites <laughs> and cookies. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And if it has sugar or carbs, that, yes. that's, that's my oh, girl. Lord. But, yeah. That's a kiss of death for uh, me. I know. At my age. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So a lot of people have tastes or sensory issues that might make them like certain foods and not like certain right. foods. So, so, so picky eating doesn't have to be this big thing that you get treatment for. You can learn to help someone eat in a more healthy way. Right. Okay. There is something that we call a, okay, avoidant restrictive intake, food intake disorder. Oh my gosh, a new right. name for everything. Yes. And that's different from an eating disorder. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, you have eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia. Right. And those are about body image and food okay. often. This other AFRID, we call it, is really about what I think is an OCD process that happens where people had a bad eating experience where they choked or something, so oh. they were afraid to eat because they choked. Yes. Or they might not like textures and stuff. That's where sensory stuff comes in. And so they're avoiding foods, and it can lead to really uh, destructive things in your body. So how do you say something? Because like, you know how it is, like, we grew up, like when we grew up, if you didn't like what was on the plate, guess what? You went to bed hungry. Right. Something happened and we all got <laughs> soft and I swore I was never going to be like a chef. It's like, all right, everybody gets their own yes. meal. And sometimes it turns into, yeah. <laughs> into that. So how do you determine? Is it just like, nope, you, you got to eat it or you're not eating? Versus well, keep in mind, I'm, could be wrong. I'm 58 years old, okay? Oh. So I'm still a little old school right. where I'm not going to be a chef, but I will figure out what my family likes and try to make the things that everybody likes, right. trying to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Like I have to model what I'm trying to get them to do. Right. Um, I'm real weird now about what we put in our foods. Like call me a conspiracy theorist, but right. I don't want something that's engineered in the lab. Right. So I'm trying to look for ways All to that. bring in healthy stuff right. that we eat together. Some of the ways you can really help your kids love food, buy the food together, cook the food together, together yes. talk about the food. And I know for sure you have a healthy lifestyle because you're working out a lot, mm -hmm. they work out with you, right. your kids have like grown up with that healthy physical activity attitude. Right. And when you do that, you can eat a few things that you can't eat if you're not 100%. physically active. Yeah. But I think um, I would not cater to everybody. Yeah, I, I know. Really and it's Ugh, it's it's like hard. You, it is hard because yeah. then you see you're like, you know, and then you have some that are just stubborn. So I'm oh, like, yeah. you know, because yeah. Jeff's like, she's going to eat when she's hungry. And yes. I'm like, no, this is my daughter. She will go a week just to make us all. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a little stubborn to be like, I'll show you. Yeah. So you, you know. don't want food battles like that because then those become something else. Right. And it's kind of, I kind of siding with Jeff right now yeah. a little bit uh -huh. like has she really gone a week without eating no because I'll sneak her up something I'm like baby you, oh. need, you need it, <laughs> you need it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a softie I tell you I'm not you don't right. want her to yeah. starve no, I get right? it you yeah. love her because then she's a you know you're a jerk the next day you're hangry she gets yes. about, you know that yes. hangry is for real you know if you can find something healthy like there are great healthy snacks now that are just like the things we all love yes and you really there's all these options out there. There's a couple of apps, and I have nothing to do with these apps, right. but there's one I found called Yucca. Oh my gosh, I love Yucca. We, yes. Yes, we use it all the time. And Bobby's Approved, uh -huh. both of those will tell you what's healthy, what's not healthy. I was yeah. really bitter last night when I found out my pickles aren't healthy, but I I'm gonna know. get some better pickle alternatives. Didn't you think, I thought a pickle was a freebie. <laughs> no, it's that all the Yucca is well, hard feeling. But so get help things that kind of mimic, like you were saying, Nutella yes. and apples. Uh -huh. I know there's a healthy version of Nutella. I know, it just doesn't, taste, that it doesn't taste as good. We're trying oh, to do- Oh no, the, girl, we'll find we'll one that find tastes one good. We'll find one that tastes good. Yes. We try to do the things like, cool, you want that that's a little bit more sugar, you have to have one protein first. Yes, yes, So like, and that's, that started to work, because then she can pick, and then she still Mama gets Mama knows her. what she's doing. It's just some nights, I'm like, all right, girl. <laughs> 
I went to bed with gummies yes. and, uh, you know, a chip. Yeah, cool. yeah. But so listen, if something is serious, yeah. do get help because one thing you don't want is somebody to get into this cycle where their body's really getting damaged yeah. and they can't function. And there's a big difference between picky eating and what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, so if there's any doubt in your mind, get some help from someone like me. There you go. Because, yeah. you know, don't make that is such a struggle, especially for new parents. It can be such oh, a struggle. For, it is. It is. So make it a little bit easier. Thanks, Dot. That's a, that's a good, good one. Good to see so you. Think about you too, babe. 